Number 32. Calculate the mole fraction of each solute and solvent. And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have 46.85 grams of codeine, which is C18H21NO3, in 125.5 grams of ethanol, which is C2H5OH. Do not try this at home. This is just for theory. <laughs> Never mix codeine with ethanol, which is drinking alcohol. Here, we're just going to do the math. <laughs> so do not try this at home. But anyway, we have to find the mole fraction, right, of both the solute and the solvent. And just keep in mind that the solute is always the smaller amount, generally it's a solid, that is being dunked into a solvent, the liquid component. And together, the solute and the solvent make up one happy solution. Now in this case, we have our codeine, 46.85 grams of the codeine, being dunked in ethanol, which is a liquid medium, right? Drinking alcohol, it's a liquid. So the codeine is going to be our solute, and the ethanol is going to be our solvent. Now, what is a mole fraction? The mole fraction formula is this. Maybe I could just make it a little bit smaller, and maybe put it up here. Now, a fraction is always represented as a part divided by a whole. This x value is the universal uh, variable for a mole fraction. And if you want to find out a mole fraction, you could only take from one specific compound, whether we're talking about the codeine or the ethanol. If we wanted to find out the mole fraction of the codeine, it would be the moles of that compound divided by the total moles. But moles, moles, moles grams, grams. In order to answer this problem, the first thing we have to do is we have to convert these grams into moles. So we're going to take the 46.85 and maybe I'll do grams of the codeine, which is C18 H21 NO3. And we're going to convert that into the moles of the codeine. So moles of C18H, oh boy, 21NO3. And I'll move this a little bit over. Then the same thing with the ethanol. We're going to take the 125.5 grams of the C2H5OH. And we're going to convert that into the moles of the C2H5OH. Okay, so how do we go from grams to moles? Well, that's back to basics. Grams of any substance to moles of any substance, which I just labeled as A. Grams to moles, you always divide by the molar mass. So I'm going to have to go on the periodic table to find out what codeine is. A lot of numbers here because we have 18 carbons. And on the periodic table, carbon is 12.01. So I'm going to add that to 21 hydrogens. Each hydrogen on my periodic table is 1.008. Plus a nitrogen, which is 14.01. And then we're going to add one more. Uh, which is the three oxygens, and that's an even 16. So let's see, 18 times 12.01 plus 21. What happened there? We're just going to keep going. 21 times 1.008 plus the 14.01 plus 3 times 16. And in good faith... Uh, we have 299.358, so I'm just going to take that and divide it by that number. Divide by 299.358. All the numbers look good. So 46.85 divided by that answer. And I get roughly 0 0.1565. We're going to do the same thing for the ethanol, C2H5OH. I have two carbons, so 2 times 12.01 plus 
plus, I could combine the five hydrogens and the one hydrogen, that's a total of six. So six times 1.008, and then I'm just gonna tackle on one more oxygen plus the 16. So two times 12.01, plus six times 1.008, plus a 16. Numbers look good. That's the molar mass of ethanol, so I'm just gonna take the 125.5 and divide it by 46.068. 125.5 divided by that number. Everything looks good to me. All right, we're on track. 2.724. That's good enough. Now, we need to find out the total moles, right? And the total moles, this is the only two components. It's the codeine with the ethanol. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add these two mole values up. So 0 0.1565 plus 2.424, you get 2.8805 total moles. And that's of your whole entire solution. So now we can start setting up our mole ratios. So our mole ratio, not our mole ratios, but our mole fractions, right, which is equal to a fraction. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll just, because we're going to color everything in. So I guess we'll do the blues first. So this is codeine. Maybe I could put just the word codeine down here. And codeine's moles of the compound was 0 0.1565 divided by the total moles, which was 2.8805. And then for the ethanol, the ethanol moles was 2.724 divided by the total, which was the 2.8805. So this is the mole fraction of the ethanol, and this is the mole fraction of the codeine. Okay, codeine. So 0.1565 divided by 2.8805, that looks good to me. So we get a mole fraction for codeine is pretty small, 0 0.05433, and I guess I'll box that off. Mole fractions do not have any units. So whatever the number you get, that that's just the fraction. And then, for the ethanol, we have 2.724 divided by 2.8805. I get 0 0.9457. And now, whoop. And now, just to check our, inf you know, just to check our information, if you found out all of your parts, right, the mole fraction for your solute, your solvent, if you add these two together, 0 0.05433 plus 0 0.9457, your answer should be very, very close to one, because adding up all the fractions will always give you the grandest fraction, which is one, right? One over one is one. So. We have our solute, codeine, solvent, ethanol. Do not try this at home. And uh, that's the end for this, uh, this uh, question. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard and always keep learning. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for being part of the community. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.